Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so okay, so basically you want to ask me about that for satellite image classification using yes. TensorFlow and your mo yeah. deep learning model CNN. Yeah. 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 So basically it's possible to using the satellite image classification. If you want, you can use that the signal yeah. imagery. You can easily work with that yeah. for classification using the deep learning, mm -hmm. mainly CNN or KNN or ANN. So this type of model we can yeah. easily implement using the TensorFlow and classify our yeah. um, images. Okay. So here I already okay. done about the work about that uh, using the Landsat imagery, uh, mainly Euroset yeah. data from here, mainly Euroset okay. satellite imagery provided with the uh, it created from the Sentinel two satellite imagery, and it also provide some land use land cover classification information okay. from the satellite images. So. Uh, so now I simply share my screen and try to show you that uh, code, how it will be work. Okay, then it will be better. Mm, just a minute. Okay. Um, sure. How long would the time frame be for this, you think? Okay. So now can you see my screen? Uh, no. no. Yes, now. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So let's go. Okay. So basically, uh, this is the full quote about that how we can easily work with the satellite images classification with TensorFlow. So first of yeah. all, we need to install some library. which we want to need all of those libraries simply install in this code editor. And after that, finally, we need to import all of those necessary library in here. Okay. Yeah. And then we can simply use here the Euroset data. Okay, so mainly what is the Euroset? Euroset mainly provide you the different types of land use, land cover classification. Uh, it derived yeah. from the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Okay, yeah. and this data set we need to spill such as 60%, yes. 20% or 20% data. Suppose 60% data for train our model or 80% uh, yeah. data for test our model. Okay, so just we can yes. simply split the data set different ratio. After that, what we can do, we can simply put here the uh, class name, different types of level. Suppose uh, some level is stored at the build up area, vegetation, barren land, or other types of feature. Yeah. Okay, we can simply divide the level. So in this satellite, um, Euroset satellite imagery, so mainly you can mm -hmm. see all of those things. Mainly it will be uh, annual crop, forest, heavy vegetation, industrial area, pasture or fallow land permanent cropland, residential, river, and sea land. So mainly, yes. all of this class we can easily get from that Euroset satellite imagery. But if you want, you can also make the uh, second two satellite imagery and get the different, different, different pixel value and also take the different, different, different classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after that, yeah. here you can see, uh, we can simply put here all of those things about the CNN model. So basically, all of this code, we are showing the CNN model. And now it display the uh, image with their levels, mm -hmm. such as you can see the industrial, then highway, also you can see annual cropland, hay workers vegetation, all of those classes we can show in here with their level. Suppose this is how my vegetation, you, this is my, yeah. How, 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 did, how you did you apply the, the, the label? label. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, so basically when you want to make the Euroset data, it uh, yeah. uh, mainly provide you this uh, label data, okay? From the URS set, we can get the level data. Okay, mm -hmm. but in this time, if you want to work with the CNN model, so first of all, you have to make the land use land word classification map with their level. Suppose this is the build up area, this is the visitation. Okay, from that, we can get the level about that. After that, mm -hmm. um, we can simply uh, make this, you can see, basically, this is the cancer flow, uh, TF, cancer flow cross sequential. We yes. need to use this model. So just we simply put all of those things and activation is the soft max. All of those things we can simply provide in here. And finally, we can mm -hmm. check the summary. So mainly in this time, we can check about our accuracy about this model using our validation or training set or test set data set. What is the validation of this data set? We check it about the data set, all of those emails. Okay. And then finally, we can check the accuracy. We can get the accuracy is the 96% accuracy from this uh, yeah. in this time we can get in here. 
and f1 accuracy we can also calculate it we can get the 96 percent accuracy after that comp uh, compute the confusion matrix using the c and n you can simply use at the confusion matrix about that mm -hmm. and plot the actual and predicted value you can simply put it in here so here you can see we can get this result look like that so it's it's yeah. showing the plot the resulting confusion matrix it's showing that about that confusion matrix result and from that we can also show the predicted sample put the corresponding level as a title upper the images so then we can get the result look like that so this is the forest mm -hmm. okay all of those things we can simply predict it from here okay so basically yeah. uh, this is the process for the cnn and using the same approach any satellite imagery suppose you want to work with the landsat image or sentinel image first of all you have to create the level with your classified yeah. classes level so after that, uh, using the same code, we can simply show all of this level, all of those things, and also check the accuracy assessment and apply the CNN model for predict mm -hmm. our different types of uh, uh, imagery or land use land cover classification imagery. Okay. So yeah. now, what is your area area of interest? Okay. okay. So, so my area uh, is similar. similar. So, so I want to use the Sentinel imagery. imagery. Yeah. Uh, and I, I want, want to use a CNN uh, model. So, but, but the aim of the Model well, is, you know, so are you familiar with what disaster means? So like earthquake, yeah. tsunami. So, so I, I want, want to use the sentinel imagery, so we can use CNN to detect the damage caused by these uh, disasters. So I want to feed images, say before an event and then after, like an earthquake or tsunami, landslide, whatever, and then to train the model to recognize the difference. Do you think that's oh, possible? Okay. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. for that, first of all, okay, first of all, similar identify your region of interest from the yeah. Earth engine, from the Earth engine, simply divide. So from that, we can easily get the Sentinel 2 satellite imagery. Yeah. yeah. But then we, we have, have to train, train on areas, areas from worldwide, worldwide now, because, because there's going to be lots of different, different uh, disasters, etc. Yes. So if possible, do we have any shape file about your region? No, uh, I don't have I a specific, specific region. region. I was thinking I would say I would take disasters from many areas, you know. What do what you think? think? Okay, so what's your opinion? opinion? Okay, so you can easily apply any types of region. Um suppose yeah. any coastal region, you can get a huge at the first time and then simply work with that. You can easily apply the same approach for the other region also. There is no problem about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, uh, you have to suppose in this time this is my area of interest. Okay. Yeah. So for this area of interest, I need to um, download the Sentinel Two satellite imagery. Yes. Okay. So with their level. Okay. So mainly in this time, uh, with your region, you can simply um, suppose this is my area of interest. So it's also better if you have a, uh, if you have the shape file or boundary shape file for your region then it's also better for working so in this time simply consider so this is my this is the coastal region so this coastal region i want to work and classify the land use land work classification using the tensor flow with cnn okay so for that first of all i need to satellite images so for that i can simply import it the select my region of interest so this is my area of interest okay so now for this region i need to download the satellite images Okay, so here I can get the satellite images. I just simply uh, uh, browse the data catalog. So mainly it provide all of those data catalog. I want to work with the Sentinel imagery. So click on the Sentinel. And after that, I can simply send it in to satellite multi-spectral instrument I need to use. And from here, I need to work for that uh, surface reflectance satellite imagery. So in this time, from this uh, data set, I can collect my image collection, okay? So just I simply copy yes. from this in uh, ID and then paste here and then give a variable name that says suppose uh, Sentinel. Okay. So after that, uh, I need to filter this image collection. So I just simply filter. So I put the image name variable image Sentinel dot filter bounds with in this time geometry geometry yeah. okay after that i simply use here the filter date in this time we simply put here the start date and end date suppose i put the time period is that year of 2020 suppose first january i put yes. the randomly time period for that 
and also put here the success year of 2020 december 31 so i get full year and from that i also need to filter the image properties so as put here the filter date function and then put oh sorry filter metadata function it will be filter metadata okay. and put here this uh image properties name suppose i need only for this image which will be not more than one person cloud cover so for that i simply um, copy the cloud pixel percentage this properties simply copy and then paste here and then put here that less than Mm -hmm. less than one okay so now we take only for the less than one person cloud cover images and all of those images i create the median composite and finally clip with my geometry which i selected so now display the image so map dot add layer and call this image and click the run so now it display the another layer and also show the image okay okay displayed yeah so in this time it's showing the black color we add the visualization yeah. from here mm -hmm. that says i put at the uh, red band then blue band and green band custom band okay 90 percent or 98 percent is better for that 98 percent reflect and sleep stress and apply so now i can get this sentinel 2 set of right imagery for this region of interest okay, so i can get the image look like that you can see mm -hmm. yep. so now yep. from this image i need to create the level data such as mainly in this time here we can easily classify the vegetation barren land water body okay and some mm -hmm. we can also get the some uh, small of uh, settlement or build up area uh, some uh, yeah. little bit okay so in this time we need to make the classification first from here okay after that classification and also create the level data from here we need to go to this code and then simply um instead of the euro set in this time we use this uh data which i created with their level such as yeah. um such as forest barren land such as build up area and vegetation okay after that we yeah, need but, to uh, work with that 